We are here at the 2022 CyberScoop Zero Trust Summit with Sean Connolly. He is the trusted internet connection and senior cybersecurity architect at the Department of Homeland Security's Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency. Uh, Sean, welcome. Tim, thank you. Yeah, uh, cybersecurity and infrastructure at Security Agency. We like security so much, we have it twice <laughs> in our name. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah, the, the, twice the security. So uh, how would you, uh, getting started, how would you describe the government's progress in deploying enterprise-wide platforms for identity and access management and multi-factor authentication? I think identity is becoming the coin of the realm, right? Where we've been the last couple of years from uh, with the trusted internet connection where it's more perimeter base has more focus on networks, and now as you read the OMB memo, you understand how that positioning importance toward identity. So there is definitely recognition of the, the value of identity moving the entire uh, federal fleet, if you will, toward identity-based identity protections. At the same time, recognizing this is going to take a long time. There's going to be a lot of uh, offices that need to be involved with it. When we talk to agencies about identity, one of the first questions we really ask them is who owns identity mission in the agency? Is it the active directory team? Who does the service for the identity? From If it's like a, a SaaS provider, if it's the cloud providers, IAM provider. And really, it's, it's not one group that usually owns it. And you need to have this collective identity strategy in the agencies to help build that out across the entire agency itself. Yeah. Next thought I uh, want to get from you. How well equipped are agencies today, compared to just a couple years ago, uh, to quickly identify and isolate segments of their IT environments that have been compromised? That's a great question. So, it's, so we've seen from SolarWinds just the momentum that's happened over the last year. And before the networks were really flat, if you go back 10, 15 years, it was simply they had that firewall stack at the perimeter and then inside the network it was pretty open. But now segmentation's happening for different reasons. You have segmentation simply because agencies are shifting some of their uh, so resources to the cloud. So you have a natural segmentation between different cloud providers going on and what they have on their on-premise. Of course, at the same time, agencies are moving forward with their hybrid work environment. So you have users both on network, off network, at home. So you have to recognize that there are different ways to do segmentation. It's also interesting, going back to the identity question, some agencies are starting to look at segmentation, segmentation more from an identity basis then some agencies are starting to look at segmentation more from an encryption basis. How can they cryptographically segment and secure uh, their, their networks in new ways? So it's an interesting momentum going on. It's not just traditional break it up between networks or VLANs and that type of discussions anymore. It's looking at new ways to support segmentation. Yeah, interesting. Looking ahead, how are OMB zero trust policies altering federal agencies' longer term IT investment strategies? Boy, that's, that's a great question in terms of myself. I sit on the Tech Modernization Fund Board uh, through the TMF. You know, from last year, there was a billion dollars put into the fund, and agencies came from uh, a multitude of areas uh, putting in their proposals to the, to the TMF board. But there was a common theme of cybersecurity through a majority of those different proposals. And so there is both an interest, and this, of course, OMB and GSA lead the TMF. There's an interest of how we can support a broad base of agencies with cybersecurity goals, with zero trust, with identity management. At the same time, with the momentum from the OMB memo itself, uh, agencies recognize that they need to start building out their budgets for the next couple years and show how they're going to build zero trust into their uh, environments themselves. There's a lot of different ways that is being able to position to help agencies move forward. And of course, CISA CDM side uh, with our endpoint detection response and some of the other tools we have coming out. So I think there's ways that CISA is looking to augment some of the services to help agencies as they move forward on the zero trust journey. Yeah, CISA always has its hands full. Uh, thank you so much, Sean, for joining us. Thank you, Tim.